there was a Sikh by the name of Bhai Jiva and he had great infectious love for Guru Angad Dev Ji Maharaj. He was just adorned in Prem and he would serve Guruji day and night with so much dedication and devotion. He used to prepare Kichri for Guruji. Kichri is a traditional dish made with rice, lentils and dahi yogurt. And as Bhai Jivaji would lovingly prepare this Kichri for Guruji, he would meditate on the Divine Name and Japanam, Satnam, Vaheguru. Not just with his tongue, but with his mind and his heart. Every day he would serve Guruji and do Simran and bring this Kichri and the Kichri would be absolutely banging delicious cooked with great care and love while he was singing Gurbani. What more could you ask for? Every day Bhai Jiva would bring this from his home and serve it to Guruji. And then one evening, around 5 p.m., Bhai Jiva came to Guru Angad Dev Ji Maharaj with folded hands, kneeling before Guruji and he said, Guruji, the wind is really crazy today. The dust is just flying absolutely everywhere. It doesn't seem like this storm is about to die down anytime soon. In fact, it looks like it might take a few hours and will probably stay till at least after midnight. Guruji, I need to prepare food for you. But because of the storm, there's so much dust flying around everywhere. And if the storm keeps up, how am I going to do this seva? The dust is scattered everywhere by the wind. It will get into the food that I'm trying to prepare. Please, Guruji, Calm the storm down for an hour. Stop the winds from blowing just long enough so I may prepare this meal for you. I will be really quick. After the meal, after I've prepared it and brought it to you, then you can allow the storm to continue. Bhai Jiva understood that Guruji was the master, the master of this dunya, the master of everything, and everything was in Guruji's hukam. And Guruji listened to Bhai Jiva's request and then responded, saying to him, you shouldn't think of these things and do not ever conduct an act or something that will render you guilty of doing an unjust deed. By putting a pause to the storm, we will be responsible for that outcome. The wind is blowing and it blows by the command and the hukam of Waheguru. There are a lot of things that are dependent on this wind blowing and benefit from it. There are many ships in the sea right now that have many people upon them there are ships with thousands of rupees worth of merchandise and goods on them that are being exported and imported in and out of the land. People are doing businesses between countries for their living. They have been out there for a few days now stranded at sea because there was no wind. And now with the wind, the wind is blowing and it's for their benefit. It's helping those ships sail where they were stranded. Those people can now get home. People trying to make a living provide for themselves and their families. This is how Akalpurk is helping them earn their living and getting home to their loved ones. There are other places where many snakes live. The wind will blow to them sand which way they need to wrap themselves and burrow in. It's vital for their survival. There are many other tasks that rely on strong winds such as the spreading of seeds, soil, dust and even food sources for other animals. A Kalpur completes these tasks with the wind. If I were to stop the wind, many tasks would go unfulfilled and a lot of people and animals would suffer. Vaheguru is supreme and whatever Vaheguru does is good. The acts of God are for the benefit of all, even if we don't understand them right now. Humans should not doubt the doings of a Kalpur God Vaheguru. If we stop the wind, many would suffer and we would be responsible. Do not doubt the will of a Kalpurk. Doubting is the ideology of Manamuks, people who follow their mind's desires. Manamuks always doubt the doings of Vaheguru. Gurumuks do not. And it's absolutely vital we accept the will of Vaheguru. That person who accepts the will of Vaheguru is a Gurumuk and Sanamuk to the Guru. They live in peace and happiness, understanding that all things happen in Pana, the will of a Kalpurk. They are happy in this world and the next. They endure suffering, but to them, it's not suffering. By Jiva, you want to make food, right? Just wait a few hours. When a Kalpurk themselves stop the wind, you can go ahead. It'll be your turn. A Kalpurk Vaheguru knows. And if the storm continues all night, so be it. We will eat tomorrow. Live in the will of a Kalpurk and the Guru. Stay happy in the will of the Guru and a Kalpurk. The person that does that is a true Sikh and a Pagat.
and this is foundational wisdom and teaching of Sikhi. Whoever accepts the will of Akal Purukh Vaheguru, that person is a Gursikh. Jiva, learn to live in this divine will and become a Gurmukh. You will be blessed with meditation, charity and such. Do Simran of the true name and let go of the attachment to your body. Move your focus away from the body towards your Atma, your soul. And doing this, you will leave the circle of births and deaths. You will achieve Brahmgyan. Bhai Jiva heard these holy words and bowed down to Guruji. He accepted the teachings of the Guru and he lived in Pana, the will of Akal Purukh. Jiva saw the light of Akal Purukh in all beings. He became a Brahmgyani. He served Guru Angad Dev Ji for the rest of his life. After he left his body, he immersed in the light of Akal Purukh. And we too must learn to live in the will of Akal Purukh. This will help us greatly in life. Living in the will adds meaning to things that we encounter and the things that we must endure in this life. And this is not some hippie thing to do. It's not some happy-go-lucky mentality. It's the mentality of giving yourself to Rab and accepting. It's a mentality of sticking to your faith, your nidhanam, your daily practice, no matter what. It's easy to do when things are going our way and everything is working out. When we're comfortable, it's all easy. But when things get tough, when things fall apart, when things don't go our way, when we struggle, to have faith in God's will then, that is true strength of character and it will happen. Hold tight and take care. Wahiguru Ji Ka Khalsa. Wahiguru Ji Ki Fateh. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe. Please donate and help spread Guruji's message. Link is in the description below. Wahiguru Ji Ka Khalsa. Wahiguru Ji Ki Fateh. Wahiguru Ji Ka Khalsa.